Hi everybody, welcome to Children's Church. We are so excited to have you with us for another week. And this week we are going to be learning about a new character from the Old Testament. And you might have heard about him before. He is called Moses. And so we're going to learn all about his life. We're going to take a couple of weeks to do that. So we're so excited that you're joining us on this adventure, learning all about Moses and what we can learn about God through him. So today we're going to learn about how Moses was born and what happened to him at the start of his life. So just before we get into that and all the fun stuff that is going to come today, we are going to pray. So let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for the stories in the Bible that can show us more about who you are. Please help us to listen really carefully today to learn more about you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <coughs> Noah built the most enormous boat that kept the birds and animals afloat. The Lord was good, the Lord was strong, and Noah lived his life for him. Moses led his people through the sea, taking them away from slavery. to know our God again. The Lord is good, the Lord is strong, and we will live our lives for Him. Boys and girls, it's good to see you again. Today in Kids Church, we're going to start learning about a man called Moses. And we can find Moses' story in the Bible in a, the book called Exodus. At this time, the Israelites all lived in Egypt. And they were doing really well in Egypt. Um, and the Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, 
he didn't really like this and he didn't want them to take over, so he decided to make them all slaves. But even though they became slaves, they still were doing they were still doing well and becoming more and more numerous, and even the rest of the Egyptians started to get worried too. So the Pharaoh decided a really bad thing that he was going to kill all the baby boy Israelites. Well, Moses' mum heard this story and she was really worried because she didn't want to have to kill baby Moses. So what she did was got him and put him into a little basket and put the basket into the river. And then she waited to see what would happen. We're going to watch a little video now and see what happens next. The Faithful Hall of Fame, Moses. This is Moses. Hey Moses was a descendant of Joseph's brother, Levi. Hey. Joseph and his brothers had many children and grandchildren who lived happily in Egypt. Eventually, a new pharaoh came to power who knew nothing of Joseph or what he had done. This pharaoh feared the Israelites because there was a great number of them living in Egypt, so he wanted to put a stop to their prosperity. Pharaoh made the Israelites slaves. He made them work long, hard hours building up Egyptian cities. But his plan didn't work, and the Israelites grew more in number and in strength. Eek. So Pharaoh made a rule that no Israelite boy would be allowed to live in Egypt. This is where Moses' story begins. You see, when Moses was born, his mother saw that he was a special baby. Hmm. And she kept him hidden for three months. But when she could no longer keep him a secret, she made a basket and put him in the Nile River among the reeds. Moses' sister stayed to watch what would happen to her baby brother. And soon the Pharaoh's daughter came to the edge of the river. When she saw the basket, hey. she sent her servant to get it. When she saw the baby, she felt sorry for him, uh -huh. thinking he must be an Israelite baby who wasn't supposed to live. Then Moses' sister asked the princess if she would like her to find an Israelite woman to take care of the baby. Uh -huh. So Moses' sister went and got her mother. Moses' own mother took care of him until he was old enough to live in the Pharaoh's house, where the princess adopted him as her son. And so, Moses, an Israelite boy who wasn't supposed to live, became the adopted grandson of the Pharaoh and lived in the palace as God prepared him for a great destiny that was only just starting to unfold. Oh 
Boys and girls, good morning. What a brilliant story. We heard a few minutes ago about Moses and we're going to be learning an awful lot about uh, God and the way that he is in charge, which means we're able to trust him. And we're going to learn this over the next few weeks from the story of Moses. But today, in the first part of his incredible story and the way that God looked after him, uh, we are learning not only that God looked after Moses then, but he looks after you today. Moses, well, God had a plan for his life and it was a, an incredible plan. And we learn from that that God has a brilliant plan for each of our lives because he loves us so much he has something unique and special for us all to do with the whole of our life but christians believe that the families we are born into and the things that happen to us uh, they just don't happen but that god has a plan in it all and god has a plan in our families to make us ready so that we are able to serve him. In Moses' story, over the next few weeks, we're going to learn uh, really brilliant truths that are really important for our hearts, but also for our heads, so we understand. And today we're learning God is in charge. God's in charge, so we are able to trust him. God's in charge, so we are able to trust him. Now, what was going on around in the world where uh, Moses was born into? Well, his people uh, were the Hebrew people. Uh, here in Northern Ireland, we have Northern Irish people, and that's who live around us. Well, uh, Moses, he was part of the Hebrew people, but they weren't at home anymore. They had been taken off as slaves to a country called Egypt, and the king there was called Pharaoh. And Pharaoh was afraid of the Hebrews because they were growing in number and they were getting stronger. And so, well, do you remember in the story what he decided to do? An awful thing, a terrible thing. He decided that he was going to kill all the baby boys by throwing them into the River Nile, which ran through the middle of the country. Now, how? How do you think a Hebrew mom and dad might have felt if they had just had a new baby boy? Well, there was one home just like that and this beautiful little baby boy was born and he was just perfect. And his parents, they, they hid him in the house and uh, they were able to keep him quiet and they trusted God to keep their wee baby boy safe. But after three months, as he started to grow and maybe he started to cry more and more and it was so hard for them to hide him. And they took this incredible step of faith. Do you remember what they did? Mum and Dad, they made this basket out of rushes and rushes float on water and they covered it uh, on the bottom with a tar to waterproof it. And then, do you remember what they did? They took it down and they hid that basket with the little baby inside and the tall reeds and they all grew along the side of the river and they hid him there. And that little baby had a big sister and her name was Miriam, do you remember? And uh, mum and dad said to Miriam, now Miriam, you, you watch, you watch your little baby brother and uh, if something happens, well, you can tell us. And so the question was, would God keep the baby safe? Was God really in charge? Could mum and dad really, really trust him? Well, do you remember from the story what happens next? Do you remember how Miriam's there and she's, she's watching maybe hiding down in the rushes, been very quiet, and who should come along but, do you remember? Pharaoh's daughter. 
And Pharaoh's daughter came right down to the waterside. She came right down to where the rushes were. She came right down to where the, the basket was. And she discovered, she discovered the baby. What would she do? Would she run home, tell the king? Would she do something different? Well, the Bible tells us that Yes, she did spot the basket and yes, she did discover the baby, but Miriam, she popped up and she came and she said to her, do you want me to get someone to, to help you with the baby? Because the Pharaoh's daughter wasn't a mum, she didn't know what to do, but she had a heart of love. And she said to Miriam, okay, you get somebody to look after this baby. Now Miriam knew the exact person do you remember who it was? She ran home and who did she ask but the baby's own mother, her mum. And they trusted God and look at the answer God provided that the little baby was able to go back home and now he was safe because Pharaoh's daughter had asked the baby's mum to look after him. Isn't that incredible? Isn't that brilliant? You see, God is in charge. And whenever we trust him, he never, ever lets us down. No. The lesson of the story, remember we've said it a few times, God is in charge and we can trust him. God is in charge and we can trust him. Christians believe that God was behind all that happened. Now Pharaoh's law said the baby should have drowned. But Moses' mum and dad, they had faith in God and they trusted God and they, they did a, a radical thing by trusting him to a basket. But they trusted God and look what happened. He came through and Moses was now this growing prince of Egypt. And what can you and I take away for our lives? Well, we believe we trust God to work out his plans for us. Now, they've nothing to do with baskets and rivers and water and Pharaoh, but we can trust them with the little things every day and the big things. So whenever things just don't make sense, whenever things happen that we don't understand or makes our hearts really heavy, we remember the story of Moses. And from the story of Moses, we remember God is in charge. God's in charge. And we are able to trust him. And if you're looking for proof, go back and listen to the story again. And how the baby's mum and dad trusted God and how he came through. And you think, I can do the same. God is in charge and I will trust him too. Our craft time this morning, we are going to be making a picture of the baby Moses today um, and him being left in the river in the bulrushes by his mum because she wanted to save his life. So we're going to get onto the craft. I'm going to move the camera down and show you what you need. So, as you can see, we have all the bits and pieces that we need. We need some scissors. We need, um, I've got a felt pen, a green one. Um, it's just a highlighter. I've got a green and a blue pencil. I've got a marker. And I have got a stick of blue. And I also have a bun paper. Okay, so you'll need a bun paper. Maybe left over from Easter. Um, when you've been making buns or something like that. So, what we have to do now is we have to make the baby Moses. So, just draw an oval. I'm going to draw it round like that. Okay. And then in the middle, not right in the middle at the top there, draw a little circle and that's the baby's face. And then you're going to put eyes, a wee nose and a mouth. And then you're going to put a little bit of hair on them there. And then you cut out your baby, like I've done here, okay? You cut out your baby, and that's your baby already done. So you've made your baby. 
Now, the next bit we're going to do is we're going to make the river. So we get our pen and we draw the river. So we do a big, just not too straight wobbly down the page and then a bit apart down the page like it's a river. This is the river bit flowing down the page, okay? Then with our black marker, we can make like little waves or little flows of the river and then we get our green marker or mine's a highlighter and we make little squiggles at the edge of the river just like this this is actually the bulrushes they're like zigzag they're pointy and they're jaggy and they grew quite high and that's what hit the baby moses and um, whenever um, they put him in the river then what I would like you to do is I would like you to get a green pencil and just shade the whole grassy bank bit. So there and there. And then with your blue pencil, shade the river. So just shading, you can see it shading. You just do it nice and quickly. If you had a blue or a green crayon, that would be very good as well. And you can shade much quicker. Now I've done one earlier. Here we go, and here's my river already. Now, what you do is, you get your bum paper, you get your baby jeans, or your baby noses, you put him into the basket, and I'm just going to put a little bit of blue on it, just a little bit of golden stuff, and put him into the basket. And then you put the basket on the river, and you stick it on. I also have a little bit of a verse uh, put out because this is telling you that God had a plan for Moses. He has a plan for you. And that's to tell everybody that sees this picture that God has a plan, had a plan for Moses and that he also has a plan for you. And it's a good way of reminding you um, why this story is told in the Bible to help us. So I'm just going to cut that out and then I'm going to put a bit of glue on it and I'm going to put my picture up there. I'm going to put it on the top corner there. And there we have today's craft. A wee reminder just that God has a plan for you just the way he had a plan to save the baby Moses. Okay, I hope you enjoyed our craft time and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty.
up my guy I wanna live so the whole world can see That my heart has changed, I'm forgiven and new If people need proof, may they see it in me Let's look the world in the eye, let's look them 